Arsenal Fan TV. Day two, we're over in Minsk, um, the capital of Belarus. As I said, it's a beautiful city. What we're about to do, we're going to check out this place. Now, this place is a, a war monument, or not a war monument, a war museum. The monument's out there, but it's actually a war museum. Uh, we're going to go and check it out. He was chatting to the guide yesterday and he was talking about Belarus and how Belarus really got devastated during the Second World War. One of the worst places to get devastated, as a matter of fact. Um, we're going to check out the museum. Come check it out with us. really 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 good I'll tell you what war is horrible the amount of different weapons in there that we invent as uh, human beings to kill each other is terrible let's hope we see a bit of that fight though tonight on the pitch now listen with my poor knowledge of poor, poor knowledge of Belarus I thought the the game was being played in Minsk. <laughs> we're actually, Borisov is its own town, so we're on our way there. It's gonna take about, well, it's, a, it's a, what, 70 kilometers away from Minsk, so it's gonna take us about 40 minutes to get there, so we're just driving on the coach on our way to the game. Just arrived at the stadium, I'll tell you what, have a look, that stadium looks impressive. It looks impressive. What do you make of the stadium? It's alright. It's alright. Huh? Yeah. Glad you can make it, by yeah, the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Better late than how never. Many, how many hours? Um, over 30 hours now. About 34 hours I've been going now. Jesus, yeah. Jesus. So. Still. And then after this, I've still got to get back to the hotel, and then we're getting picked up at half one in the morning, and then we got like a three, four-hour drive back to Lithuania. Nobody cuts off DT again. 30 hours to get here. He spent over 600 pounds. He's a proper fan. Also, he don't listen. If he'd have listened to me, he would have got a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the stadium, I'll tell you what, it looks all right. I've been to many stadiums around Europe and they've got massive running tracks around them and they don't look like a football ground. But this looks like a proper football stadium. Um, yeah, it's a nice ground. You know what? This is what we said in the Europa League. Go to different destinations and this is a different de destination. And so far, it looks all right. <laughs>
was a great trip. I really enjoyed it. Belarus was a beautiful country. Um, the game was good. We won 4-2 and yeah, it was all great. It was all good. Um, good to be back in England. I'm um, looking forward to the game now on Sunday. Uh, I want to thank, you know what, right? I don't even know if DT, he's not even made it back yet. He's gone through about five different countries to get there and to get back. And the moral of the story is, when you're going abroad to watch Arsenal play, make sure you use like, you know, these really good sources of travel out. What we use is sports options. Um, they are brilliant, all right? I'll put the link in the description for them. Anytime you're going abroad, use them. We never had any problems on this trip. Uh, transfer from the airport. You know, and that is one of the things when you're going on these trips abroad, you can often look on it and say, oh, there's an easy way if we go via this and via that. Most of the times you end up spending more money. It's lots of hassle and it takes you ages to get there and ages to get home. Go with these guys. They're the professionals. They've been doing it for years. And sports options are probably the best ones out there. Um, but back in England, time to get back to work. <laughs>